but here he is literally trying to burn almost like set himself in a way too on fire which is actually kind of appropriate when we look forward in the music video for fire he was the one who set the hater on fire it's almost like trying to burn burning yourself while, while trying to burn something that is fundamentally wrong with you and your mindset. Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. I just released a video that is basically like episode number three of our throwback series with BTS, which featured a reaction to I Need You. Now, that reaction was a reaction to the, I guess, regular version of the music video, which I unfortunately didn't know as of recording that video in that time, I didn't know that there was an extended version, which I guess from some of the comments that I got on Patreon, as that video was released on Patreon a week in advance, uh, this original version is going to flash out the story a little bit more and maybe some things that I thought about the music video originally, maybe I will change my mind, but for the most part, I talked a lot about this music video uh, in my original reaction. So if you're interested, check that out first. And then if you're interested, come back to this one, uh, because I am also in that reaction. I'm checking out War of Hormone. I need you. I checked out the HYYH prologue and uh, run as well. And now we're coming back to I Need You, checking out the original version. It is five and a half minutes long. I'm very, very excited to see what this is all about because I had a lot of thoughts about the original music video. Let's get into the original version of I Need You right now. Man, this shot is heartbreaking. And a hopeless J-Hope is also insanely heartbreaking. All of this is fucking heartbreaking, let's be honest. Okay. I'm excited to see a little bit of Suga's story and RM because that lollipop, I was like, Is that supposed to represent cigarettes or something? Uh, Jimin, yeah. It's just incredible. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Oh. Holy shit. Oh, wow. 
down. So beautiful. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. So I thought that he just threw a punch at him and protected his, who I assume is his mother. Jimmy went back to the tub. Oh no, oh, oh. Yeah, that was a cigarette. Okay, I'm happy about knowing, guessing that. Holy shit. Oh my god. God, that was heartbreaking. It it seemed like Jimin went back into the tub. It, it like he escaped the tub. You see like this fucking wave. Obviously, the elephant in the room is V didn't just throw a punch at his like stepdad or whoever. He fucking killed him. Um, which is like the built up aggression and disdain towards him and like being so vulnerable and constantly letting him do the things that he did without being able to protect your mom the shot of Jin and that flower blooming it's interesting because in run it's almost like there, there was there were these visuals of um and I, i'm going to jump uh here and there because i talked a lot about this music video in my original reaction so i don't want to be a broken record so check out that reaction first if i'm not mentioning something that you think that is just something that i should have seen because chances are that i already talked about it but uh the shot of Jin and that flower that is blooming the flower that was burned the same flower is blooming in his in his chest it's it's interesting it's almost like he was the first one to kind of like see the light in a way because in run V was kind of like in a way mean to him when he cr crossed the X on his body with the spray and he also like knocked down his uh his uh, house of cards and like the the heartbreak on on Jin's face it's almost like V was trying to tell him that he doesn't belong in that in that place as they're all trying to stay in Neverland in a way and he's the only one who's maybe it's because he's the eldest uh, I'm not sure why they picked Jin's character to be the one who constantly feels like he is not belonging in that place. But it was really, really interesting that he was the one whose flower basically like bloomed. Jungkook getting beat up with the, by those guys. I, I pretty much like thought that, that that's what was going to happen in the original music video. But then just cut to the part where he was about to get hit by that car. Jimin going back to escaping the bathtub, then going back into the, the tub was also incredibly heartbreaking. Suga, you know, he was playing with the match, uh, with the lighter. 
in the other music video but here he is literally trying to burn the room almost like set himself in a way too on fire which is actually kind of appropriate when we look forward in the music video for fire he was the one who set the hater on fire that was really really cool it's almost like trying to burn burning yourself while, while trying to burn something that is fundamentally wrong with you and your mindset so actually this bangtan theory website touches on what i kind of felt like the meaning that i got from run like running away from young hoods becoming an adult letting go of that basically letting go of like neverland in a way and no longer being able to be the peter pan and always being uh, a teenager j-hope is uh, according to the website, the embodiment of pain one can feel one while growing up, not sure where to stand. So that's kind of like what I felt with Run. Um, Jin lays six lily paddles on the floor. They're symbolizing the emotions linked to his youth, as as well as like the the white outfit, very pure and everything. Everything just screams purity. The 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 young hood screams the youthfulness. Screams uh, youthfulness too. V gets up and puts his black hood on this will be a reoccurring symbol for adulthood throughout the uh hyyh uh, trilogy and beyond with the fire music video which we just touched on as well and it's also a subtext for what v is about to do enter the void of adulthood as depicted and run as we touched on in the music video previously uh in the previous reaction writer there's obviously a lot of scenes of happiness in this music video as well and they're only happy when they are together so the only thing that is keeping them intact is when they are obviously uh together but when they are by themselves everything is very dark and gloomy and obviously jungkook uh gets beat up by the guys and he's walking basically by himself in the dark which also the website kind of like uh touches on how Jungkook is the embodiment of how helpless youth is against adulthood. Um, and in more ways than one, he is defenseless and cannot turn things around until he's older. So he gets beat up by the adults and he is also walking in the dark, like walking blindly into adulthood in a way that's kind of how I feel. Also, uh, the website touches on Jin's lily paddles that catch uh, fire on the floor uh, as he lies in bed in fetal position that is basically setting his youthful emotions on fire in hope to get rid of them and as he now needs to get closer and enter adulthood but it's something that he still struggles with obviously in run and v is almost like trying to push him towards letting him know that he doesn't belong in like this neverland in a way by you know tearing his house of, house of cards or like painting the x on his body you know almost like basically ridiculing him and that kind of like causes the realization in jin's face as like his face turns from happy being happy to be youthful and then once the house of cards was broken and torn apart that realization sets in that is is, is a reality that he has been fighting for for a very long time and doesn't want to enter that adulthood um v is the rebellious side of jin apparently and namjoon is the mature side of him even though he is holding on to his youth just like jin is despite already living in the adult world he is the one v will turn to in times of crisis when his childhood world collapses both of them are singled out and put into the realm of adulthood by Jin through Jin's car lights okay because oh that's right because Jin was actually the one driving the car okay cool um Namjoon is really an adult in disguise and V is about to become one as well uh J-Hope is him falling down basically i'm guessing it's also really interesting because they, they touch on the fact that there is no car passing in sight and the cars is like a representation according to the website of adulthood and the cars passing by to me it's like life passing you by or time passes you by kind of like in a way trying to merge the symbolism of what we see when train pass in music videos and somebody's standing right beside the train tracks or right next to, to a train that is passing so it's like time passing you by 
uh, J-Hope is lost to pain and cannot move forward. So they very like, they brought that metaphor, a very literal metaphor of J-Hope losing the battle and not being able to move forward, literally, uh, which I thought was really, really interesting. According to the website too, V is wandering over the bridge, uh, but he is, even though it seems like he is just aimlessly walking, he is actually just delaying the inevitable uh, because he knows that he needs to do something in order to get control of his own life. And in the original music video, I was like, the bond that BTS has to have together in that music video is a representation of the courage that was given to V to stand up to his dad. But unfortunately, he did a little bit more than just that. Also, with uh, Jimin, who steps out of the tub, uh, apparently... Jimin is the embodiment of Jin's denial over his dying youth. However, by stepping outside the tub, and even though he still feels overwhelmed and confused, this illustrates a shift in his mind, echoing what is going through V's mind at that moment. And then, obviously, things started to go uh, from bad to worse when we see, uh, first of all, V is about to murder his dad. Uh, Jin gets a call for help from his quite literally messed up emotions. That is... So the, the blooming flower is, according to the website, is a call for help from his own emotions. Represented by the lily flower, which he burned in the... With the paddles that were on the floor burning. That is really, really interesting. So by killing the dad, you basically just killed your own innocence and your youth forever because there's almost like no going back from that in a way so according again to the website once v hits his dad and jungkook is about to get hit by the car there's a fade out and that is a representation of the loss of innocence uh that is forever lost and youth is dead and now we've entered the void that is adulthood jimin goes back to the tub almost like to represent denial um there's again flashing shots, flashback shots of happiness with BTS uh, to almost like emphasize everything that we lost that is now basically lost forever because we're not going to have that innocence. There was even like a cool shot of BTS like as they took the tray of food because before they started playing food fights, they were actually really, really nice. As they, it was like the little bit of sincerity that was left in bts that was really really cool jin opens the curtains and looks outside the window he doesn't want to face the consequences of his action like an adult and contemplates going back to neverland which is later in run i believe much like i talked about multiple times by now uh like v is almost like trying to tell him that he doesn't belong in neverland by taking down the house of cards and crossing the v the crossing the the x on his on his body all of the boys appear to be uh gathered around a campfire uh jen returned to them and can now smile that they are together this is actually a pre-enactment of their gathering at the poolside in the prologue which we also have watched um the story repeating itself time and time again within itself is an inception like dream the scenes of V killing his father and the campfire get intertwined. Moments of blissful innocence and dramatic actions juxtapose themselves. What looks like a continuity mistake in the MV makes then perfect sense. V stabs his father over and over again. Sometimes his hood is on and others it's off. Subtexting V's transitioning into adulthood. The repeat stabbing is only V's interpretation of what happened, even though what happened actually didn't and was only a metaphor for growing up. Okay. So it's like killing the dads, like killing the the innocence and the youth, and like stepping into stepping over the edge from being uh a young adult to an adult. Coming back to Namjoon and V, Jin and the boys are driving around them. We're just right after the stabbing scene in the MV timeline. And Namjoon suddenly appears wearing a black hoodie, which again symbolizes adulthood in what looks like, again, a continuity error in the shooting and editing, but it's not. He then touches Jimin's hand, reaching out for him, and in a way passes the disease of adulthood onto him while doing so. Holy shit. I really don't know what to fucking say.
but one of the positives is obviously like the joyful campfire scene where you know j hope kind of like gets rid of the pills um and he's happy and he doesn't feel any pain and he can you know he's no longer stuck and again it like symbolizes like as long as we are together we can be happy but when we are by ourselves that is when shit kind of is fucked up and also even like the shot of namjoon with the lollipop is almost like denial because it's actually a cigarette and the gas station some ungrateful customers froze money at namjoon right out of the car window which is again a symbol of adulthood leaving him stunned and upset he drops his lollipop the symbol that ties him to his youth and then uh the lollipop turns out to actually be a cigarette so he was like in denial about smoking a, a lollipop when in reality it was a cigarette there's a lot of like denial with uh with, with jimin seen burning down the same note as before he is trapped in a loop and denial about what happened to him v is crying over what he has done his hood is off means that the little boy who is crying not the man who is also in denial j-hope lying down across the bridge finally opens his eyes he is still midway across the bridge towards adulthood so he's literally in the middle <laughs> oh my god Stuck again between two states. Namjoon looks down at the floor back at the gas station, motionless. He is all alone and surrounded by darkness. Darkness symbolizing the realm of adulthood. Then the boys are by the seashore. They are depicted as being in between two worlds. One on the firm ground, but against the wide, deep, and unpredictable sea, which is adulthood, I guess. Yeah. Symbolically speaking, Dreaming of the sea connects to the conscious and unconscious mind. The seashore is meeting is a meeting point between land and water, with the ocean being therefore a metaphor for the conscious and unconscious mind coming together. The state of mind of Jungkook, who is feeling trapped in his child state and wants to grow up, is emphasized here when he steps up onto the shoreline, at the very edge between land and water. It is also a mirroring scene of his wanderings at the very beginning of DMV when we see him on the bridge in between two worlds. The boys suddenly appear behind him, running fast past Jungkook. He's the youngest. With the ocean in the background, they're all running towards adulthood together. Flashing now to a crying V, in total despair over what he has done, the hood is off, as is the grieving boy in denial who is crying. In his bathtub, Jimin is also in a serious emotional turmoil, breaking down in tears. He can't stand the truth that youth has come to an end. Um, but the cycle of the pain the boys feel over the death of youth cannot and will not be broken until Jin finally accepts that he is now an adult, which is why V was going out of his way to basically ridicule, but in reality, he was just trying to let him know that bro you are no longer a child you're an adult and you need to step up and accept it uh which is actually really really genius in the final scene of i need you all the boys stand facing the ocean joyful watching birds fly which is again a symbolism of youth but also like freedom well is how i thought of it as babies were first born as birds in the world of neverland hence why they call they can fly Jin is laughing uh uproariously watching them then the very last shot of the wide open ocean time is running up for youth holy fucking shit i don't know how long that whole thing was that i just read and uh, kind of like discussed but uh, i don't know what else to say this music video already i i was in love with the song it's incredible but then shout out again to bangtan theory um uh, definitely check out the website because there's a couple of things that i uh didn't read uh because i was trying to save some time but i don't think i did a good job of saving time but this was incredible um if you stuck around throughout this entire uh video listening to me kind of like uh trying to dissect and read and kind of like throw some of my own uh shit into it and just trying to figure it all out thank you i hope you guys enjoyed this reaction if you did make sure to like this video subscribe to the channel if you're new and i will catch you all in the next one i got nothing else to say so uh check out my reaction to run which is in the previous video 
Uh, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Have a wonderful weekend ahead. See you.